right. KMR versus URX4, the video. No, just kidding. Um, it's not really a versus. Um, I definitely like both these rails. And um, there are some major differences uh, between them. But let's start with the similar things. Similar things are, I believe right now, these are the only two rails on the market that uh, you're going to find key mod on all every side, on all your corners, uh, which is cool. Completely useless if you want to put a rail section up here. You cannot use it. it it'll fit, but it'll just go there. So if you plan on putting a, a rail section here, then mounting a light on it, shit ain't going to happen. So every every other spot is um, is useful. Um, I'm not really using the, utilizing them for anything, but if I need to, they are there. So it doesn't bother me in the bit that they're there and I'm not using them. I do like the fact that they're there. So uh, the rails. Let's start off with price. They're similarly yeah, similar. They're similar in price. Um, right around uh, I think we're at 279 for the 13 inch KMR and maybe close closer to 300 but you could find it around 280 for the 14 and a half inch rail of the URX4 both of them come with a wrench now you can see the the BCM KMR wrench this wrench huge difference in size and there's a reason for that um, I'll explain why this one is so big in a second um, this is, everyone's seen, you know, um, Corey and uh, Range Times video and uh, Twang and Bang is really the best review that I've, video review I've seen. Um, I really like how he did it. He, show, he showed you the install on the KMR. Um, awesome. You know, so, so basically you're, you take out this screw, that screw, and you can slide this rail right off over the gas block, over the pinned flash hider and everything. Uh, so that is a phenomenal uh, positive for me. Um, that is easy. So awesome. Install. The, the way that this barrel nut is and, and, and what Eric Kinsel um, came up with to line it up, it is really just a phenomenal design. Um, obviously the weight uh, will also get, you know, I also have the enhanced lightweight barrel. It's a continuous taper design. They're supposed to be more accurate, though this is a very thin in comparison to, um, you know, a match grade type barrel. Uh, I have not seen any degradation in accuracy as far as heating it up goes. But then again, I never really am shooting for accuracy. I'm usually 50 yards and in. So um, if that's important to you, you might want to get a thicker barrel. But either way, the handguard is going to save you weight if you like a longer handguard, which I do. Um, URX4 installation, it's a little bit different. So here's here's what's going on. Um, you need a pin, um, sorry, a set screw gas block. There's no other way to get, um, you know, a regular taper pin gas block on when you're installing this. So the URX4, let me try to show, you can see how thick that is. I'm not sure if that's coming up. It's really thick here. And that's because the barrel nut is one piece. It's part of the rail. Um, it is very rigid. And so basically, I can tell you that with this wrench, I don't have my... So I, with a half inch drive socket, and my scope is on there, but you put this over the rail like that, and then torque the shit out of it till it lines up. And let me tell you, I had to put everything I had to get this to line up. Lined up perfectly the first time for me, fortunately, so I was probably pretty lucky there. But once this is on, I mean, it's on. So then you have to put your gas block on after. You've seen the installation video if you're interested in the URX4. You watch Jack Luba do it. He, you know, you slide it down. It's just like that. As long as you take care in preparation in the beginning, like I... Before I took my gas block off, I marked it, you know, um, like a, like T mark, so I could line it up from the front because I knew I'd only be able to look down the barrel here um, to line it up. So doing that ahead of time saved me a lot of headaches in um, in the installation. So it was actually about a 10 minute install for me. The BCM I actually bought as a complete upper, but um, I don't see the install being 
any more difficult than any other rail I've ever installed, if anything, easier than any other rail I've ever installed. So um, that being said, so when this is on, now your gas block is in, you, 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 you know, you put your set screws in, you're done. Now as far as field kind of use for this, it's sort of out the window once this rail is on because I don't even know how you're supposed to get the gas block off. It's easy enough to tap it in this way, but you loosen the set screws. I mean, you have to get that out of there before you start spinning this off, before anything. So I really don't know what the procedure is to take this off. But the, to, to me, let's just say you were building a shit-hits-the-fan, end-of-the-world gun. Uh, this handguard could not be on there due to that fact. Um, unless you had the new SR-15 with their you know, proprietary gas block with a straight gas tube. It's It's got some sort of um, locking system that locks it into place. They pretty much made it to accommodate this handguard, which is fine. Um, I don't have it. I'm not going to buy another upper. I'm tired of buying uppers every year because they come out with something that's a little bit better than the one from the year before. Uh, every Everybody really does that, but Knights Armament are in innovators, and um, this is a great rail. It's a great feel. Um, I do like how it feels without the panels, but I, but I like the panels as well. I did sand them down. Um, it is a lightweight rail in comparison to many other rails on the market. Now, if you're going to compare it to the BCM rail or the Nevesky NSR, they're going to win. But this one is definitely a thicker rail. I mean, you can just tell, you know, just feeling them, um, that, that, that it's a lot more robust in that sense. Like, I'm pretty sure if I curb stomp this rail, it's going to dent. This one might take a little bit more than that to, to get it to dent in, um, which is fine. I mean, I really don't think, you know, it has to. You have to be able to run it over with a truck for it to be a decent rail. And that's not what this is about anyway. So the feel of the rails, I have to say I prefer the thinner rail. Now, I'm not a huge man other than my belly, but this is a skinnier grip. Um, I probably will put the rail panels on it when they're out. I tried the NSR rails on it. They work fine, but I don't know. I just kind of hate them. And this is still a thin, thin grip, but it's, it's a little heavier. It's a little fatter, but people are going to like this thing. This is a great rail, and actually it makes a perfect coyote gun for me, so uh, I'm glad that, you know, of course I'll shoot it how I shoot this one too but I mean for now I'm just using it like a as a coyote gun it's it's gonna do me just fine for that so I'm trying to think if I missed anything I mean you know this is normal aluminum this is uh you know the aluminum alloy bullshit you know and everyone the, the the saying that on the sharp edges the the finish flakes off I mean I don't I mean who gives a shit really um if you care about that, then, you know, don't talk to me, because I'm going to make fun of you, if that's important to you. So, um, recoil. Um, be having the lightweight barrel and having the birdcage, definitely I notice more recoil. I'm not saying I can't control it, and I'm not talking about muzzle climb. Even myself, sometimes when I think recoil, I'm thinking of, you know, muzzle jump. So, I'm not talking about this talking about straight back into my shoulder it definitely moves more than a, the BCM comp, a battle comp, a griffin definitely can tell the difference more with this than with the SR-15 so that's a little heavier you know handguard barrel slightly thicker though it is a lightweight barrel it's, it's in the middle not a lightweight it's a proprietary weight you know shocking Knight's armament with something proprietary. Um, so, in having a slightly longer gas system, so this definitely recoils a little less. Um, which is good if you're laying down, you know, shooting through a scope like, like I have been with it. Um, that's fine. Um, it's, a, it's a great, great weapon. I love. I would not go back to any other handguard. I would stick with key mod. I believe that these are the two best handguards on the market right now. Nevesky, the NSR is up there too. My buddy has this same Knight's Rifle with the NSR on it. And feel, you know, picking it up, it feels just like this. I mean, mine feels lighter because of the barrel. 
Um, but I mean, he's running the light sights, you know, I mean, very, very similar to mine and definitely, um, you, you, the weight, the weight difference is there. You're going to notice it, especially when you start carrying it. You know, I carry it up and down the stairs every night cause I take it and, you know, have it next to my bed. Um, so you really start to notice the difference. Obviously I have a scope on this micro on that, but taking everything off, leaving the flashlight on this is still significantly lighter than than this feels in in your hands uh handles well shoots well shoots accurately they're both awesome so i have no complaints on either um anybody in the market for a rail is going to be happy with either either of these uh but i would have to say you're probably you know depending on what you're going for are going to be a little happier with the bcm being um they're on the top of their game right now uh with the stuff that they're making they're coming out with their marketing everything they're just gold they cannot fuck up right now and uh it's crazy but i love it and i um, gonna be shooting these two for a long time <laughs> on another note the 6920 is gone and i have nothing against the 6920 i just happened to um find a nice bow that I wanted and I uh, needed to get a bow so one of the ARs had to go so I'm back down to two ARs but I got a nice bow um, should have it in two days I don't know if I'll do videos on that I'm really inexperienced with bows so um, I'll give that some time before I start acting like I know it all <laughs> anyways alright so there it is KMR versus URX both highly recommended but I slightly recommend the um, the KMR more uh, for weight installation, slightly cheaper price, and um, it's just fucking awesome. All right, see you guys.